Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to Season 14, Episode 13 of Eagle News. Today is Tuesday, September 29, 2020, and happy National Coffee Day. My name is Audrey. And my name is Liv. Welcome back, Eagles, to another episode of Eagle News. Today is a B-Day for Hyatt students that have a last name of M to Z. Those ladies interested in 7th grade and 8th grade basketball should attend an introductory meeting on Thursday, October 1st, or Friday, October 2nd, during advisory in the Commons slash lunchroom. We will be called down by down to the meeting. PTO News. Our parent teacher organization has a website selling Heights Middle School clothing and merchandise, including lanyards and masks labeled with Heights on it. If you are interested, check out the updates page on Schoology with the website for you and your parents to buy merchandise to support our, our PTO. Parent teacher conferences are tonight and they are virtual. Check your child's teacher updates pages on Schoology to find out how to sign up for a conference. Speaking of Schoology, remember Eagles, when you are on your at-home learning days, you are still supposed to be checking Schoology and completing your assignments. Also, CDL kids watching the news, you can pick up last year's yearbook from 10 to 11.30 a.m. and 1 to 2.30 p.m. Now let's head to Olivia in the Eagle News Weather Report Station for today's weather. Thanks, Audrey. Outside, the weather today is looking mostly cloudy with a small chance of rain during the day. The high is 64 and the low is 43. If it's not raining, try to get outside in the afternoon. It's fall weather, so it may be chilly. Be prepared to bring a jacket with you. Let's go back to the newsroom with Audrey and Liv to see what's for lunch. Thanks for that wonderful lunch report, Olivia. Before we head to lunch, there is one of the best things Mr. Meta found on the internet yesterday. With Hamilton coming to Disney Plus this spring, other popular characters decided to sing some of the lyrics of the popular musical. Let's check it out. Ha! You don't even know what you're asking me to confess. You have nothing. I don't have to tell you anything at all. Unless, Unless if I can prove that I never broke the law, do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? No one else was in the room where it happened. Is that a yes? Um, yes. yes. Thanks, Kermit and Gonza, for that rendition of Hamilton. Now lunch news. Make sure that you're using social distancing in line and in the kitchen at lunch. It's important that when you are waiting for anything in the kitchen that you wait on one of the red X's or blue circles. Hey Liv, what's in the kitchen serving, what is the kitchen serving for lunch today? Good question. Let's check out the lunch report with Miss Carr in the kitchen. Roll it. Hey everybody, today's lunch is General Tso's chicken with fried rice, chicken sandwich, and Jet's pizza. Thank you, Ms. Carr, for that wonderful lunch report. The food sounds delicious. Now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's now time for trivia! Let's hear what the trivia of the day is in the Eagle News Family Feud Trivia Studio. Thank you, Audrey, and welcome to Trivia Night here on Eagle News. The number one answer from yesterday's trivia was Superman for 47 points, to name something with the word super in its name. Only two days left to earn points for the September contest, today and tomorrow. Remember that you need to text Mr. Meta the answer to earn your points for today's show. Today's trivia question is, name an old movie that just about everyone has seen at least once. Again, name an old movie that just about everyone has seen at least once. Send Mr. Meta your answer to earn your points. On Monday's broadcast, there were 30 extra points that you could receive for answering the one ingredient that Emmy Clara put into her blizzard at Dairy Queen. The answer was M&M's, 30 points to every teacher that got it right. Let's head back to the newsroom for today's Hispanic Latinx moment for today and today's sports report. Our Hispanic Latinx culture fact of the day is, Roberto Clemente was one of the greatest Latino baseball players of all time. He played for the Pittsburgh Pirates and helped them win the World Series in 1960 and 1971. There's a statue of him outside of the PNC Park in Pittsburgh. He was also a humanitarian who worked in the off-season organizing charity drives and donating his time and money. Over the weekend in the NFL, the Cincinnati Bengals played against the Philadelphia Eagles. The whole game was tight, 
leading into overtime, and the teams ended up tying 23 to 23. No one's scoring in overtime. The Cleveland Browns played against the Washington, winning 34 to 20, and the Pittsburgh Steelers battled the Houston Texans and won 28 to 21. In the NBA from Saturday, the LA Lakers played game five of the Western Conference and defeated the Denver, the Denver Nuggets, final score being 117 to 107. The Lakers won the Western Conference Finals in five games, beating the Nuggets 4-1. to one. In the NHL news, the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Dallas Stars played Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Dallas won 3-2, to two, so now there was game to last night. In Hyatt Sports, the boys and girls cross-country teams are traveling to Worthington, Ohio after school to battle against Worthing Way M Middle School. Good luck, Eagles! Speaking of cross country, let's check out some action from a previous race. No, it's not Mr. Meadow and Miss Hull and Miss Ortman walking a couple miles. But today's video segment has Josie and Addie reporting about the Hyatts versus Orange Cross Country Meet. Let's check it out. Hey Eagles, it's Josie here at the Hyatts Cross Country Meet against Orange. Good luck to all the Eagles. Good job, Eagles. Nice win to the girls, and you'll get them next time, boys. I'm Josie reporting with Eagle News. Thanks for that video, Josie and Addie. Now let's head to the studio with Olivia for today's This Day in History. Thank you, Liv. On September 29, 2005, New York Times reporter Judith Miller was released from a federal detention center in Alexandria, Virginia, after agreeing to testify in the investigation into the leaking of the identity of covert CIA officer Valerie Plum. Let's head back to the Eagle News headquarters to wrap up today's news. That's it for today's Eagle News, but before we go, we want to share with you our quote of the day. Everyone knows and always has known that the enforcement of equality is the mandate of justice. My name is Audrey. My name is Liv. And my name is Olivia. We hope you enjoyed watching Eagle News today. Have a great rest of your day, Eagles. Bye! Bye.